dead. Arr, it's me birthday. <laughs> <laughs>
Happy birthday to you. so pretty calm but as usual we are in search of other things so we are moving over to Great Bird Island area some things to explore over there it's a great day to sail since we've had a downwind sail and guess what we still aren't doing downwind although we were promised it today it's more beam and just in time that we raised the head sail we lost wind now we are going 2.6 knots thank goodness we raised it I'm out here in the helm and Bo is doing his thing
And this is why you always have to pay attention. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a pot here, a crab pot like right here, a crab pot over there. There's several over here. And when you're sailing at night around these islands, you definitely should not sail close. So we call them crab pots, but we have no idea what they're actually catching out here. I've never seen anybody pulling one up. It could be fish, although it is pretty decently shallow right here. So lobster, I'm not sure what they're catching, but all I know is I don't want to catch it in our prop. So you got to keep your eyes out. Also me, sometimes I just want to relax and not have to look out for crab pots, but that's not reality. You always have to keep an eye out because this is our house. We're taking a little shortcut, but it's kind of narrow and there's some rocks, obstructions, reef, all in the way. So we really have to pay attention. And we're kind of motor sailing right now. The, the wind's pretty light and we just had the head sail up. And the way that the sun's angled right now, it's not the greatest, especially the time of year because it is December and uh, this, the sun doesn't really fully rise. So right now the sun's directly in front of us, so it just creates a, a glare off the water and it just makes it harder to see what's in front of you. When in doubt, have somebody on the bow watching out for stuff. What do you think? It's gorgeous here. Yeah. It's very open, but it feels very protected. It's Especially nice. with all those reef. Yeah. A lot maybe, bluer. Maybe we can find some time to do a little diving. But first, video editing. While we were sailing up the east side of Antigua, you could definitely tell the difference between the south half and the north half. The south half was very cliffy. Up in the north half where we're currently at, it's pretty flat. There's also a lot of islands. The island we're on right now is Great Bird Island. Located in the northeast of Antigua, Great Bird Island is a tiny uninhabited island. Measuring just 20 acres, it's smaller than most city parks. It could fit inside of Central Park in New York City 42 times. Because of all the different birds they found living here, sailors passing by dubbed this place Great Bird Island. This is also home to one of the rarest snakes in the world, the Antiguan racer, thought to be extinct until they were found here. Rats smuggled their way into the island with early European settlers, and to combat the rats eating their sugarcane, they introduced the mongoose to hunt the rats. But in the end, they both hunted and killed the thriving snake population. Over the years, great efforts from conservation groups have brought this harmless snake from 50 to over 1,000 and are now living on three different islands. Where are all the birds at? <laughs> Thought this was Bird Island. Great Bird Island. 
Oh yeah, Great Bird Island. They must be out fishing. I would be. Even though we haven't spotted a lot of birds, we did see a couple of these guys here, which just happens to be our favorite bird in the Caribbean, the red-billed tropic bird. Look at them with their little tail streamers. These guys love to nest on the side of cliffs on remote islands, 